Hey there, my name is Paige. I'm the content creator here at ClipChamp and today we're back with another walkthrough video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use our brand new feature, which is the screen and camera recording. So with this new feature, you can record your screen and your camera at the same time to produce your content. All right, so jumping straight into the walkthrough, it's actually really simple to use this feature. There's only a few steps and then you're done. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over here to the record and create button. And once I've selected that, I can see the four options. And then at the very top, you can see screen and camera. I'll just go ahead and select that one. And there we go. So there I am at the bottom here. And I'm just going to keep my AirPods selected, but you can go ahead and select any audio input. So it can be through your computer or your headphones. And then here it's automatically set to the camera in your computer. Now that I've selected those two options, you hit the big red button in the middle here to start recording. And then this is going to pop up here. So you can either choose to share your entire screen or a specific window. So for me, the one on the left is the screen and camera recording. And the one on the right is a ClipChamp tab that I prepared earlier. Uh, so it's just got a preloaded video in there for this example. So I'll just go ahead and select that one and hit share. And here's the screen that's going to be recording. So I'm just going to quickly jump into that one here. Now I'm in the correct window. It's going to be screen recording this entire tab uh, as well as myself at the same time. Pretty much just for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a couple of transitions into this little video that I preloaded. I'll head down here to filters and transitions, drag in the push right transition, quickly just play that one back. And that's perfect. And that video is all ready to go and ready to export as my little example. Now I'll just wait for that to finish exporting and then I'll jump back into the other screen. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna jump back into the screen recording tab. So I'll quickly go ahead and do that now and just select this one here. And I can see here at the bottom, it's about three and a half minutes of recording. So I'm just gonna hit stop and there's my entire recording. So I'm just gonna hit save and exit. Now what's going to happen is it's going to break up the recording into two parts. It's going to have the screen recording separately and then the actual recording of myself separately too. So in my media tab here, I can see on the left is my screen recording and then on the right is myself. It does that so that when you're editing your content, it's a lot easier to, for example, use the freehand tool separately on each individual video. You can trim, add a couple of transitions or text over your video. It's also automatically uploaded both of those recordings into my timeline here and it saved them both to my computer individually. So now just to edit this recording, like I said before, you can select each recording individually. So I'm just gonna select the one of myself here and you can use the freehand tool to make it bigger, smaller, move it anywhere over the screen. Um, but for this one, I'll just keep it about this size here. That's perfect. And just drag it over here to the right hand side. And I'll just jump into the middle of the video. When I was screen recording, I've got all the little edits I was adding, like those transitions. And I've got myself sitting at the bottom there on the right hand side. So with the screen and camera recording, you can add any sort of edits you like. You just edit it like a normal video. So you can add text, you can add transitions, music, audio, use the freehand tool to move things around. But just for this example, I'll go ahead and add a text bar. And I'll quickly just add introduction. So when I play that back, I can see introduction there. Um, but aside to that, it's, it's as simple as that. So now I can go ahead and export my example. And then that's done. So that's all there is to our screen and camera recording feature. We hope that you enjoy it and we can't wait to see what you come up with.